Hey, what's up with it? Hey, y'all know what's up, man. I want y'all to got tune in, tune in, tune in, tune in. Because y'all know what time it is, man. Y'all know what time it is. Y'all know what time it is. Say, man, listen, I want everybody to tune in. Because it's going down. Like I said, it's going down. Um, That's what I want everybody to understand. Say, man, you can't define what's coming to you. You cannot sit back and say, oh, man, that's not comedy. The objective of comedy is to make people laugh. And the other thing about comedy is, can you pull people in the seats? If you are able to pull people in the seats and you are able to make everybody laugh, guess what? It's comedy. It's comedy. It don't matter what you say or how you say it. It's comedy, man. I know a lot of y'all sit back and y'all want to make it seem like, no, man, but it ain't no now, man, but nothing. Because everything that was wrote was wrote a million times. And everybody changed up the game every time. And guess what? And what is the reason why you have comedy to make people laugh? And you got people that can make people laugh but can't put nobody in the seats. You see the difference, man. You got people that can make people laugh, but you can't have, they cannot put nobody in the seats. And that's the same thing with guys that want to be rappers, guys that want to be singers. They can rap good. They can sing good. But one thing they can't do is they can't sell no album. They can't sell no music. And they show can't put nobody in no seats. They cannot do none of that. So with that being said, this is what I'm saying. Right now, right now, the game is being rewrote, and it's called yapping and comedy. <laughs> we calling it yapping and comedy, and it's making everybody laugh. And everybody is happy and smiling and feeling good. Cause guess what, y'all? We yapping and comedy. So I want y'all to realize one thing. Long as we keep on filling in the seats and making everybody smile, guess what we gonna do? We gonna keep on yapping. They say you gonna, man, we gonna yap till we can't yap no more. So I tell everybody, wag them to the new thing. And you tell every comedian this here. Y'all don't y'all don't run the game. Y'all don't run the game. Never have and never will. Y'all get some participants in the game. So let me y'all check this out. Let, let me be quiet and check out this shit. Check out this real quick. And it's raining home for wrong. Don't they go? <laughs> Boy, I'm telling you, man, ain't gonna be able to get me to come back here no more. And we trying to make just a new Def Jam coming. Boo and shit to me. Whoever the nigga had the microphone and the speakers and the wires plugged up last night, apologize to that nigga and tell him to come back. But listen, we got to start telling the truth starting from the pregnancy. When the oh bitch pregnant. Men, don't start laughing. Y'all already know what I'm talking about. Blue face and Krishan. <laughs> Now, I know people say, man, it's wrong to talk about babies. But nigga, I was born in the 70s, where if the baby was ugly, he was ugly. And if he had big ears and big lips and, and a long head, they called him monkey. And as he grew older, by the time he got to the sixth grade, the kids who played with him, they just called him monk. So, motherfuckers say, man, he wrong in a motherfucker for what he said about that baby. Man, I already know if a bitch smoking black in my house and hit that motherfucking new port when she pregnant. That baby ain't coming out healthy. And she gonna be sneak, sneaking and puffing on that motherfucking weed. That bitch in that motherfucking club ain't a little motherfucking do say don't hurt the baby. But it do, bitch. It makes his ears sit low. Motherfucking eyes look crossed. They say, well, your eye crossed. You're lying, motherfucker. I got one eye. Here. I can take mine out. And the cross-eyed motherfucker can't take your lap. So I ain't the same cross-eyed motherfucker. So I tried to tell them, man, half these bitches, especially if they fucking these superstar ghetto hood niggas, 
The nigga coming out with rotten calm anyway, lady. Motherfucking calm coming out riding anyway. You got damn right it is. Because if you calm in you too many times, what? It fucks off your pH balance. Leave that motherfucking pussy with a little smell. Let the next nigga know it's a nigga coming in this pussy. <laughs> <laughs> so, see, I can't even move, so I gotta stay right here and just talk. <laughs> so, listen. So, motherfucker fucking the superstar hood nigga. He can't read too well, so his calm ain't too strong no way. So the baby got to down there take on all the mama jeans, cause the nigga weak in the motherfucker. So when the baby gets inside the egg and starts to develop through what? Them trimesters they call them. Man, this bitch ain't taking them prenatal vitamins that the woman's supposed to take the first three months, going into the six months. Man, the baby in the club. Man dancing and bouncing. Learning how to do gymnastics more than anything. Motherfucker ain't nobody read to the baby. And then don't be with no nigga like Blueface. Hitting you across your motherfucking head. Got you having threesome. Your baby freak you already. <laughs> so I make a bold statement and say, I bet some money that this baby gonna come out retarded. <laughs> and they tried to ban my ass off the internet. <laughs> Damn sure is. You see, look at don't it. I'm telling you. But we ain't gonna blame it on the baby. The baby don't know nothing. The baby just sitting there looking. We don't know if this motherfucking hero or if it's gonna be mute or what. It's just looking. <laughs> but we know it wasn't raised in the best conditions. So I'm saying we can't tell the truth about that. Back in my day, there was no such thing as autism. No such thing as autistic. He was mentally retarded. <laughs> <laughs> There was no such thing staying in special ed classes. He was in a retarded class. <laughs> and they had a name for this motherfucker. And this motherfucker behaved accordingly. So now today he's dressed up. So when I started working with kids in the juvenile system, because I was raised in a juvenile system, I started asking a juvenile worker, hey, what's the difference between these motherfuckers today and us? They say a dual diagnosis. I said, man, what the fuck is a dual diagnosis? These motherfuckers today are suffering from mental health issues and substance abuse. I say, well, shit, that's why all the young niggas on purpose here right now. Shit, this is a repeat of the, the crack baby kids. <laughs> so I said, man, what is two motherfuckers I've been worried about over the last 15 years? Crack babies and the niggas that TLC was singing about, scrubs. <laughs> what happened to them? What happened to the niggas they were calling the screw up that were hanging out the passenger side of their best friend right there? They still here? What they doing? Driving trucks now? <laughs> so, so, so that nigga out there left off stage, he might need to go get him out of the car. Cause he's ain't gonna smoke weed. Yeah, yeah, cause Tony ain't his thing. And I hate to bust his bubble. But boy, if he so pissed, if he sold that clean piss to all them people he say he no smoke weed, Shit, man, that nigga that'll make a kill it, cause this here ain't his thing. So get ready to put your motherfucking hands together. Uh, I hope she find a spot where she can be heard clearly. Uh, Miss Jazzy Ray, man, out of Yeah, now y'all got the opportunity to see that. Check that out. Y'all had an opportunity to look at that. Y'all had an opportunity to feel how y'all feel. And now I'ma say this here so we can keep on going. Can't nobody stop it. To me, I seen like a lot of people in the crowd was enjoying themselves and they were laughing and he had poor people in the seats and he was just hosting. He was just hosting, man. That wasn't even, he was just hosting. Say, man, see, listen. See, man, that's why I keep telling you, man, every day is a learning experience. Instead of everybody sitting on the sidelines saying what you can't do, Man, why not try to sit up and say, hey, man, listen, let's do this here, let's do that. Why not try to come together? Why do y'all have, because a lot of people don't have, I want to say, full rights to be able to make that kind of thing happen. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just saying this here, and I'm keeping it real. So therefore, since y'all don't want to come up and shake hands and be cool and say this and say that, all I'm gonna say is this here. Man, we gonna keep yapping on Man, we gonna keep yapping, man. And we gonna yap till we can't yap no more. We gonna keep making people smile till they can't smile no more. 
We gonna keep dropping knowledge until it ain't no more knowledge to drop. We gonna do something that ain't never been done. All in the name of Yemen. And we putting it on the comedy stage. We put it on the comedy stage, man. You heard me? So with that being said, man, let me know what y'all think about it. Let me know how y'all feel. Say, man, leave that comment. It's okay. Leave a comment. Let me know how you feel. Because you just might like everything. Yeah. So until then, let, let me know. <laughs>